Hey there, welcome back to Electricity Frenzy. In this video, we'll be discussing a crucial aspect of electric motor performance, the service factor rating. As an expert electrical maintenance engineer with over 13 years of experience, I can tell you that understanding service factor is essential for maintaining motor efficiency, performance, and longevity. Understanding electric motor performance. Before we dive into service factor, let's briefly go over the basics of electric motor performance. A motor's output power depends on its input power, which is determined by the voltage and current supplied to it. The motor's speed and torque, on the other hand, depend on the load it's driving. The motor's efficiency, or how well it converts input power into output power, is influenced by factors such as its design, construction, and operating conditions. What is the service factor rating of an electric motor? Now, let's talk about service factor. Electric motors are designed to handle a certain amount of overload beyond the rated power for short periods of time, such as during startup or when a load temporarily increases. The service factor rating indicates the maximum amount of overload the motor can handle while still maintaining reliable operation. It's typically expressed as a decimal, such as 1.15 or 1.25. How is electric motor service factor calculated? So, how is service factor calculated? It's determined by dividing the motor's maximum horsepower by its rated horsepower. For example, if a motor has a rated horsepower of 10 and a maximum horsepower of 11.5, its service factor would be 1.15. Why is electric motor service factor important? Help me out by giving this video a thumbs up and liking it below. Your support means a lot and helps me create more helpful content. Thanks for that. Now, you might be wondering, why is service factor important? Well, Exceeding the motor's service factor can lead to overheating, insulation breakdown, bearing failure, and other issues that can shorten the motor's lifespan and reduce its efficiency. On the other hand, selecting a motor with a service factor that's too low for the application could result in frequent overloads that can also damage the motor. Factors affecting electric motor service factor. Several factors can affect the motor's service factor, such as its operating environment, load characteristics, and operating temperature. For example, if a motor is running in a high temperature environment or driving a load that requires frequent starts and stops, its service factor may need to be adjusted accordingly. What happens if electric motor service factor is exceeded? So, what happens if the motor's service factor is exceeded? Well, it depends on the extent and duration of the overload. If it's a minor overload that only lasts for a few seconds, the motor may be able to handle it without any damage. However, if the overload is prolonged or severe, it can cause insulation breakdown, winding damage, or other issues that can lead to motor failure. Electric motor service factor versus safety factor. It's worth noting that service factor is not the same as safety factor. While service factor indicates the maximum overload the motor can handle, safety factor refers to the extra margin of safety that's built into the motors designed to account for unforeseen events or variations in operating conditions. It's typically expressed as a percentage, such as 25% or 50%. Conclusion. So, there you have it, a comprehensive overview of electric motor service factor. As we've discussed, understanding and properly applying service factor is crucial for ensuring the reliable and efficient operation of electric motors. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Electricity Frenzy for more informative videos on electrical.